discussed about pitch factor, distribution factor, right? And the terms are induced EMF, the harmonics are how to eliminate the room, other advantages are how to bring it up. So, armature winding, we use the distributed winding, other than the short pitch, full pitch, up in the red term, and the short pitch, we use the short pitch, short pitch, we use the integral slot, fractional slot, and the fractional slot, we use the fractional slot, right? So, next, last lecture, we use the last lecture, we use the EMF equation, we use the EMF equation, we use the direct distribution factor, pitch factor, find money, EMF equation under less ना अपडेट करना होगा जो correct हो। तो ये पर हम ऐसा करना पड़ेगा ना EMF equation मटर डाला करना पड़ेगा। That is very important. See, the first thing is general the EMF equation अपडेट करने के लिए ये लोग मशीन में वो रे मर गया डाला करना होगा। There is no big task. Transfer मटर ना हम ऐसा पाक करना होगा। Like DC मशीन ले अपने ना हम generate करना होगा। आधे मर गया इंडियन the EMF अंदर generate होगा। Let us see. So first the EMF generation का first ऐसा होगा। Machine में बोला होता है ना EMF अंदर induce कर the EMF for me is the R given to me, you know, machine learning number of turns, right? Into the variation in flex with respect to time. And that's why you have an inductive coil that you can use in the transmission. And the inductive coil is EMF for me. It is same as your inductor. In inductor, what is the relation between your voltage and the current? V is equal to L I by, that is L into D I by D T. Correct? So, L into I is equal to that. Here I am using. For instead of using L into I, it is electrical domain. In magnetic domain, it can be interfered with the N5. That's all. Then we will replace the L into 5 and substitute the L into 5. Next, the file is keep on varying. That is called instantaneous flux in AC machine. Right? So that can be written as 5M sin omega D. Next, we will differentiate the E of D. If you differentiate the E of D, you will get N into 5M into sin into sin into sin into sin cos omega D. Inner differentiation will give us one more omega. So, we will get the E of D. E of D is equal to E max if you have pi of t, you have pi max into sin omega t. That is the end term that is called E max into cos omega t. If you have maximum voltage, you have maximum voltage become N phi m into omega. Clear? Next, from this, you have RMS voltage. Right? If you have RMS voltage, you have the maximum value root over and divide. Replace omega by 2 pi f. Then you will get the value of induced EMF. Clear? Next, what I have told you, since the induced EMF is directly proportional to winding factor. Winding factor is error. That is nothing but the product of pitch factor and the distribution factor. All right, now we know what we're going to say. The formula to obtain pitch factor, that is class of n epsilon by 2, where epsilon denotes the what? Cardin angle that we know, right? So, in case of fundamental voltage, that is the RMS voltage fundamental voltage number calculate from now, replace n by 1 in distribution factor and the pitch factor. Right? So, when you get n to 1, you will get the pitch factor and the distribution factor. And remember one more thing. Examiner at some times, right? At some times, they don't give you the information about the value of slant angle directly. And I have to say that the beta value is the face spread. Like face spread equal to 30 degree or 15 degree. And the other person who is the thing is, slant angle is how to treat. If you treat it, sign off in the total value. Sign off in the total value. Sign off in the total value is very very small. Sign theta can be approximately equal to theta. Are you getting me? Sign off in the total value. Sin of theta is equal to theta. Now, theta is very small. Very small. Very very small. It is approximately equal to theta. Now, if you have approximately equal to theta, sin of n gamma by 2 is direct to gamma by 2. Right? So, in term, m is equal to theta. There is, I am replacing n by 1. Clear? So, that is approximately distribution factor. Don't forget, this relation is very very important. Right? Now, substitute this distribution factor under pitch factor into the EMF equation. So, that the resultant EMF equation becomes 4.44 times of n pi of max that is frequency kb kd right times of voltage amino right so that is how we are obtaining induced emf in case of synchronous machine don't forget this term is very very important and remember one more thing sometimes when the example end up in the the flex circle yeah the flex on the purple on the put the command and then you have to calculate the area of flex flex calculate the area of flex calculate the flex directly put the data okay there is no problem suppose if there is no any information about flex अपो flex से उन्हें ना बैठने के लिए पढ़ने पड़ता हूँ, see, that is very simple actually, let me show you, right? Now when we are calculating the average value of the flex, let me write it directly, we know the average value of the flex become twice of pi max by pi, don't forget, do remember this one, right? Otherwise, let me do one thing, we will go from average flex density. Flex density in our average value calculate for now, we will get twice of maximum flex density divided by pi. I am going from average flex density. So from this, we all know 
magnetic flux can be written as B into A. A denotes the area, right? Upon number machine learn, in cylinder, what we are trying to calculate? Flux. Sir. B out of value in the I am getting twice of Bm by pi. Whereas, area of this cylinder is how much? 2 pi or can I write like this? Right? So, from here, pi pi getting cancelled out, right? But 2 into R of being rather diameter of being rather than the circle, diameter of being rather twice of radius, correct? So, the value of being rather twice of Bm into diameter D if the L, that is flux. And if you calculate it, it is flux per pole, clear? That is maximum flux per pole. So, that can be written as twice of maximum flux density diameter D, length, that is axial length divided by uh, maximum flux flux per pole, clear? So, that is how we are calculating flux, that is maximum flux generated in this synchronous machine per per pole, right? So, that is very very important. Suppose if there is no information about the flux generation, you have to use this formula to calculate the flux. Flux in a calculate from you can calculate the value of RMS voltage. Clear? That's all. So, that is all about RMS under flux calculations. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. And remember one more thing just remember this equation and RMS equation. Rest of things is not required. And the pitch factor and distribution factor also very very important. Fundamental value calculate from the keep the value of N as 1. Clear? So, that is all about EMF equations. That is over with this, right? So, thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.